डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल अर्निंग एंड लर्निंग टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ आवर वीडियो इज हाउ टू क्रिएट कस्टम रिपोर्ट फॉर अमेजॉन सेल्स यूजिंग एक्सेल इफ यू आर एन अमेजॉन सेलर यू नो हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज टू स्टे ऑन टॉप ऑफ यूर सेल्स डेटा एंड मेक इनफॉर्म डिसीजंस टू ग्रो यूर बिजनेस बट विद सो मच डेटा to track and analyze it can be over healing and time consuming to create reports that give you the insights you need that's why excel comes in with its powerful data analysis tools you can quickly and easily create custom reports that can help you make smarter decision and grow your amazon business in this video we will show you how to set up your excel spreadsheets important your amazon sell data and create custom reports tailored to your specific needs so let's get started there are following steps for creating custom reports setting up your excel spreadsheets importing amazon sales data creating custom sales reports automating custom reports now we will discuss all the important steps one by one in this section of video we will cover how to set up your excel spreadsheets for creating custom reports for amazon sales follow these steps open microsoft excel and create a new workbook in the first row of the worksheet add column header for each of the data fields you want to track for example You might include headers for product name, SKU, sales volume, revenue, cost and profit. Adjust the column width and row height to accommodate the data you will be working with. Format the column headers to make them stand out. You can change the font size and color of the headers. You can also use bold and italic to make them more prominent. Freeze the top row so that it stay in the place as you scroll through your data. To do this, click the View tab, then select Freeze Panes, and then choose Freeze Top Row. Save your workbook with the descriptive name and such as Amazon Sales Report Template. Importing Amazon Sales Data. Log in to your Amazon seller account and navigate to the report section. Select the report type you want to download such as orders and shipment or sales and traffic. Choose the data range from the report and any other option you want to include. Download the report as txt or csv file. Open your excel workbook and click the data tab. Select from text CSV and navigate to the location where you saved the downloaded file. Select the file and click import. Follow the prompts to import the data including specifying the delimited column or tab and selecting the column data types. Once the data is imported, it will appear in your Excel worksheet. The next step is creating custom sales reports. Identify the data fields you want to include in your sales report, such as product name, SKU, sales volume, revenue, and cost. Filter the important data to include only the relevant rows for your report. For example, you want to filter any specific product category, sales period, or sales channels. Add a pivot table to your worksheet by clicking the insert tab and selecting your pivot table. Choose the range of cells containing your filtered data and where you want to place the pivot table. Drag and drop the relevant data fields of to the pivot tables, rows, columns and values areas to organize and summarize the data. Customize the pivot table's appearance by changing the layout, adding or removing subtotals, and formatting the numbers. Adding charts or graphs to visualize represent the data. For example, you may want to include a bar chart showing the sales volume by product or a pie chart. 
showing the revenue breakdown by sales channel. Analyze the report to identify trends and patterns in your sales data. Use this information to make data-driven decisions about your product mix, pricing, strategy, and sales channel. Automating custom reports. Save your custom reports as a template by clicking File and selecting Save As. Choose Excel template as the file type and save it to location you can easily access. Set up a data connection to your Amazon sales data source. Click the data tab and select from other sources. Choose from Microsoft Query and select the data source you want to use such as the excel file or database. Follow the prompts to select the specific data you want to include in your report. Set up a refresh schedule of your data connection. Click properties in the connection properties dialog box select usage to specify how often you want to refresh the data such as daily or weekly. You can also choose the refresh to data every time the workbook is open. Customize your report template to include any additional data fields or formatting you need. Save the template when you are finished. Use Excel automation tool to run your custom report automatically. Click the developer tab and select visual basic. Write a macro that opens your custom reports template, refreshes the data connection and save the report uh, to a specific location. You can also schedule the macro to run at specific time using Windows Tasks Scheduler. Hopefully my today topic is very beneficial for you. If you have any question related to my today topic, please ask me in comment section. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.